Hey, yeah, I'm attempting to do a perm on my hair. I did the perm. Now, see all these splits that I have. I got shampoo in it, so I'm looking for the scissors to cut about an inch off the end. So, you'll see the results when I'm done. Bye. I've trimmed the ends. I don't want to do too much because I'm not a professional and I'll leave that to up to the profession when I feel like going to the beauty shop. But it looks a little better. Now I'm going to go ahead and rinse the shampoo out. I don't usually do it like this, but I thought it would be easy. So I'm all permed out. See how straight it is, ridiculously straight, but once I wash it and dry, y'all see, it's going to grow back big. You'll see. Okay, they look better. Ignore the TV. I'm looking at girlfriends. Okay, ignore the curtain. I need to change it, but this bed is so heavy. Okay, so this is it. This is it. I am gonna. All I did is comb it to the front. You know, and try to cut the ends that way because it'll be easier for me because, uh. I can't really see in the back, and I don't really know how to cut that good, so I just cut about an inch. Okay, now it's time to rinse it. Rinse my hair out. Now I'm going to cover these, the product I'm using. Olive oil, Miracle, Deep Conditioner, No Lie Relaxer. You know, it doesn't matter what relaxer you put on your hair because it's killing your hair anyway, but... My hair's so thick and it's more manageable manageable with a perm. So, so since I've uh, trimmed my ends, I come straight through my hair now. So that's perfect because I couldn't at first. Cause it's kept tangling up the. When you have loose ends and raggedy ends, you have tangle up and it's hard to count through. So I learned that from my mother, which was a cosmetologist. Okay, so. Basically, with this perm, um, the instructions are inside of the box. All you have to do is part your hair in four sections and uh, start applying it to the roots of your hair. Not the scalp, but the roots. And you have numbers on each step. So, just follow the steps. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add this deep conditioner and let it condition for about um, 20 minutes, then I'm gonna rinse it out. I'm gonna dry it and I'm gonna let you know. And once it's dry and I curl it, you'll see how it looks after that. This is how I look natural, baby. But my see that's why I draw draw my eyebrows on because they're invisible. Okay, I'll be back, guys. While I'm letting my hair marinate out of this deep conditioning cap, I'm gonna have a discussion about natural hair. Okay, everyone has a preference. First off, so don't judge me because I'm putting perm on my hair. I'm used to getting perms. My hair is really really thick. I don't waste I don't like wasting time going to the beauty shops and money going to me it's a waste of time and money to go to beauty shops because you have to sit there wait for other clients and then you may get something that you don't want and I mean the, the style that they do are pretty much and what they do are very e is very easy um seemed like to me probably because my mom was a cosmetologist i learned a lot about hair and um i can do my own hair so i just do it at home i don't have much else to do when i'm not at work i am in a relationship but my man's always on the road in which i don't mind because i like it like that but anyway and so um i do some other things but i mean not that important so um so i'm letting the deep conditioner these bags are for you know just to help it penetrate and 
you know, your scalp, you know, just keep them, hold the moisture in and everything like that. So it can be really conditioned great. Especially if you have hair like mine, it's um, in these conditioning. You can't over condition your hair. I learned that from a beauty shop, a beauty beautician actually. You can over condition your hair and it'll be dry and brittle. And what helps me with my time is I just look at an episode like any episode for 30 minutes on TV or, you know, or 20 minutes, you know, then take a break. That helps the time. Uh, unlike when you're at the beauty shop. I mean, just, I hate, I hate when they just sit you under the dryer and like go and sit in the dryer while they start on another person. I hate the beauty shop. I hate anything where I got to wait. I hate going to get the driver's license i hate standing in the grocery store line it's just things that that bothers me i i i hate going to the nail shop i hate going to the dentist but those are things that i have to do from time to time so any way i can avoid a wait i do it so right now i'm watching girlfriends you know it's on netflix it's really good so I'm gonna go ahead and wash this condition off my hair and out of my hair and I'm gonna come back to you. My hair is gonna be blow dried and I might put some curls in. I found a bag of hair, braiding hair. So most likely I'm gonna do a braid cause it's too hot. I mean, who wears bobs? Not that bad. But I'll be back. I'll see you guys later. So you guys, I rinsed the condition off. I, I said I was going to come back with the, it done. So I'm going to show you um, how it looks now that I've rinsed the conditioner off out of it. It's still real long, but it was so much longer than this. My hair, it seemed like my hair just grow a little bit and it stopped. But I mean, I always cut it because I hate ends. And so you guys know that braids really damage your hair and a lot of my hair came out but oh uh, if you got hair like mine sometimes you just wish some of it would just well decrease in volume not in length but decrease in volume because it's too much so i'm trying to part this real quick hold on and so See, I don't like cutting my hair too much because I do believe that's one reason you should go to the beauty shop. There are several reasons you should go to the beauty shop, but you shouldn't go to the beauty shop just for all uh, reasons. So, one reason is... <sighs> number one reason is to get a cut. You could even go to a barber to get a cut because I would never cut my own hair. And the, another reason uh, you should go to the beauty shop is for any type of hair dyeing. You don't want, I don't want to do that myself because I had a bad experience. And so you should go to the beauty shop for those reasons because those are specialists in those areas. But anything like a perm or a box, something that you can get out of box for five dollars, um, you can you can do that at home because in the beauty shop a perm costs like sixty five, seventy dollars. Like in a store it's just five dollars. So that's what I did. And see, my hair straight. It's pretty straight. Amy, it's straight. Pretty straight. And so, I mean, you can tell that I cut the... I will trim my ends because basically that's all I can do. I can't really do a real cut. And plus, I don't wear my real hair because... You know what I don't like about my hair? I don't like that the front... Well, the back grows a lot longer. Look at the back. In the front, don't grow that long. Like, so I don't really wear hair. My hair, I put some weave in front sometimes, but right now it's too hot. I'm in Houston, it's humid. I work outside, so I don't really just be doing hair like doing my hair like I used to when I used to work in an office or a call center. I worked in so many call centers. So, all right, y'all, I'm gonna do my hair. I need to be doing something else like my class. <laughs> it's so boring but i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do my hair feel good today so i'm in that mood i had me a frappe i might, I might even put some makeup on for y'all look at me i'm aging gracefully baby 
Pretty cheek. Oh, I love my cheekbones. But these big ass eyes, baby. Can't even see. Where's my glasses? I'll be right back. <laughs> 